Okay, here we are. I don't have to tell you anything because it's all in the introduction. And if you didn't, if you didn't view the introduction and hit the pause button to find out who who and and who we are and what the hell we're doing, well, I'm sorry. I'm not Richard Simmons. I'm not gonna hold you by the hand and coddle you. You know what I mean, brother? Seven bells to start the show off. For seven brides. Yeah, I'm not even gonna tell you what the show is called because it's in the introduction. Why the hell should? Why be redundant? You know what I mean? I want to introduce you to. Um, The Bernie bird. This is what's left of the Bernie Sanders bird right here. Poor pathetic thing. Mm -hmm. uh, all, nothing, not, I, I was going to say skin and bone, but nothing but bone. Uh -huh. Because Bernie Sanders flew to coop, broke his heart. And, oh, uh, and, 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 and the, uh, all the former um, Bernie bros and Bernie Kratz uh, simply gave up. Showed voter apathy, did not flock. To the Green Party and Jill Stein did not do it. Do that. The massive multitudes of people that showed up at his rallies after he got screwed by uh, the DNC, uh, voter fraud, and everything, and and the uh, um, the oligarch pulling the puppet strings of the Obama administration and, and the Hillary uh, campaign, by us, et cetera, et cetera, and you know uh, the massive amounts of Bernie Kratz could have flocked to Jill Stein, but they didn't. Because Americans are really not suffering that badly yet. They're, they're not willing to embrace real positive change in this country. They're afraid that they might suddenly, for once in their miserable uh, nine-to-five humanoid lives, be happy. Uh, heaven forbid they should ever experience bliss Really? And have a real, fair, compassionate government like democratic socialism, and 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 be as intelligent uh, um, uh, as the Northern Europeans are. Heaven forbid Americans should educate their minds, and 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 be proactive, and 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 not just go on social media and cry and bitch and moan. Uh, every day, day in and day out, and when election time comes, they all fold like cheap cameras. You're nothing but pusillanimous pipsqueaks. You hear that? Pigeon-livered pusillanimous pipsqueaks. You, all you do is bitch and moan on social media. And that's it. You know, I mean, uh, and you continue to settle for, well, nowadays it's only the slightly lesser of the two evils or it could be column a evil column b also evil column a corrupt column b also corrupt hey you want the two-party system because why because you believe your american media which is controlled by the corporations the oligarch now i excuse me for a second it's not that cold out. I wonder why this is. I'm cold. You, you people. I don't know. I didn't bring a jacket. I was fine. All right. Well, now you got, the, you got that uh, French uh, Navy. Uh, yeah. Uh, T-shirt on. But now, there. now that I that now that I want to do a little Chisler's Hall of Shame, old Beelzebub starts the furnace. Right. Chisler's Hall of Shame. I want to start by saying shame on you restaurant industry as a whole you're part of retail and you know how I feel about retail the lowest dirty low down underhanded uh, uh, one of the sleaziest aspects of capitalism is the retail industry I've worked for them in the past I know what they're like the supervisors are bona fide natural born scumbags Ooh. and scoundrels the CEOs are even worse because you know shit trickle shit goes down the ladder as they say not up the ladder and um, it's probably really the people that run the 
the retail industries in, in, in America. That's why they hold on. That's why they lie to you profusely in in, in every, every which way. They lie to you in the advertisements. They they take a little bit of truth and they they blow it out of proportion. They make it bigger than life, embellishing and but I want to start off by saying shame on you. Um Hibachi Grill Buffet in uh, Saddlebrook, New Jersey, right off Route 46 West in the Saddlebrook Mall. And the reason why I say this is because on uh, Thanksgiving Day, you know, the day when Americans uh, give thanks for what they have and then the day after they trample people for sales. Right? Thanksgiving Day, I was just too tired from being such a busy guy. I was too tired to cook. I wasn't invited anywhere because nobody invited me. <laughs> no, nobody was really that I know was doing anything either. My sister, she's just worn out to a frazzle. She went out to eat with her uh, in-laws and I, I didn't have any Thanksgiving uh, festivities except for a good bottle of imported scotch whiskey. Uh, only cost me $13.97. Uh, Grant, Grant's, Grant's scotch whiskey. Very, very good, very reasonable. Good. Anyway, I found out that the, the Hibachi Grill Buffet um, had turkey. Yay. So I drove over there. And lo and behold, what did I see turkey. as I approached the front of the uh, buffet and on the window. The big sign saying that, you know, normally for dinner on the weekend, it's like 13 to $14. Oh no, they want $19 all day and night for Thanksgiving day. $19 just because it's Thanksgiving. Well, you know what? If it was top of the line seafood, I can understand. But not cheap ass turkey. I can get turkey any day of the year. In my at yeah, any diner. In my no, no diner. Yeah. Supermarkets. I see turkey breasts, turkey well, drumsticks, turkey necks. Let me finish. Turkey necks, turkey wings. This this turkey all the time. I'm talking about the meal. At a diner, you can get a good turkey meal. You think I'm going to pay top dollar at some Greek diner in my no, area? No, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's expensive. It's cheaper. Listen. The 19 bucks. This guy, Mike, that runs a suburban diner in Paramus, New Jersey, a Greek guy, right? Yeah. He wants for um, not, even a, not even a pound ribeye. I would say it's, it, it, it's under a pound. Eight ounces. It's under, no, not that small, but it's under a pound. Ribeye steak dinner. He wants 35 bucks for it. Hey. $35. So you think I'm going to go to a diner for Thanksgiving dinner? No. No, look. It's price gouging. Even my conservative Republican Uncle Phil said, said it immediately. It's gouging, and gouging is wrong. Just like monopolies are wrong. Gouging. Price gouging. Shame on you. All the restaurants pull this crap during so-called, when I say so-called so holidays. The only holidays that count are the original early Christian holidays from the Bible. Not all this bullshit made up so businesses can make money on these, on these pagan, uh, modernized pagan holidays of today. The retail business can, can take you over to Kohl's and to the cleaners out of all these present day holidays, so called holidays. So anyway, so that was that. So shame on the restaurant industry, of course, shame on you for underpaying your staff just because they get tips, gratuities. I don't know how they fucking get away with paying their staff less than minimum wage, but they do. Now. I presume they got time and a half yesterday, yeah. I mean on Thursday. Now, um, the second shame on you has to do with a product, an infomercial. I really, the only infomercial product I would ever consider buying again, I mean, again, as far as 
as far as purchasing based on an info commercial is I, I hear great things about the Nutribullet RX and the Ninja okay the processors um, kitchen processors they're, they're very good right but you can buy them in stores they're in, they're in all the major uh, uh, department stores so it's not like an infomercial product that you know makes a ton of money even though it doesn't work and then they disappear oh no no it's in the stores but I got the Gotham the Gotham steel Papa. titanium uh, uh, ceramic nonstick pan that you see presently on infomercials let me tell you something when I first got it the food was sliding out without oil or butter it was sliding out like the infomercial douchebag says after a while I had to add lubrication now I have to add the same amount of oil and, or butter that, that, that I did when I had a conventional skillet what the fuck? They said that fine, you, it's still you working fine. But does she add lubrication to it? Only when she wants to. Well, you don't watch her when she cooks. I say only when she wants to. But but, but I'm just telling you. I got the largest one. The lowest price was on QVC. It started out great. The eggs slide. They, they slide right out. Everything slide out with no lubrication. Now I have to add lubrication to this damn pan. So I will not buy any more infomercial products, period. The whole system is rotten, corrupt, crooked to the core. Capitalism was always designed and rigged for the rich only. That's it. Now, without, without many regulations left, now they can lie to you. They can, uh, they can become a carnival snake oil salesman and so on and so forth. Yeah, because Mr. Trump is going to get rid of a lot of regulation. You know, now we have, um, they were pushing for pagan Christmas, the, the retailers were pushing uh, before, way before Thanksgiving. And, um, you know, it's, um, of course, it's the same retail crap. Uh, bombardment um, fine jewelry they're the first ones to bombard you with commercials huge racket huge racket fine jewelry you know the markup on these stones and everything uh, and I, you already know about the diamond industry because I already mentioned it on, on another show okay so that's it on the Chisler's Hall of Shame uh, you know Mike Pence he's an evangelical zealot religious freak he's a fucking freak Finger. a religious freak why the hell did Donald Trump select him as his VP running mate is beyond me to keep his religious freaky base why does Donald Trump feel he needs to pander to the freaks of a uh, uh, of false counterfeit cultists Phony baloney Christianity. That's 35% of the Republican base. They're that way. Yeah. Well, then they're stupid bastards. They're they're well, they're they're brain no cell. They're brain cell defense. Well, well, the the inbred uh, uh, rednecks that go to the Trump rallies with the teeth missing. They're, they don't have any. Uh, they don't have many brain cells. You know. That well, they, they might find me brain cells. It, it's just. Uh, this is what they he, were taught. He don't want to. He don't want to really see. Doctor Bill is is farther to the left than I am. He is so afraid of insulting a group of people or no, putting no, people that no. he wants to. He's like Jill Stein. He wants to sing Kumbaya. Uh, uh, you know, you love like Barney the Dinosaur. Oh. You love me. I love you. You love me. No, no. Screw that bullshit. It has nothing to do. It has to do with what. Uh, one person or two persons that may be saved, that may find religion, real religion. You know, can't write. It, you know, that's what happened with uh, Hillary, with her basket of deplorables. She wrote off all those people. 
She had a basket of deplorable, but she but did she count herself in there in that basket? No, that was the 35 percent of the Republican Party. But that came back to bite her in the ass. But no matter how you shake it, no matter how you shake it, shake the shillelagh. When you vote two-party system, you're getting you're getting the the bottom of the barrel of of, of, of capitalism. You're getting the scum the scum of politics. And no matter what side, I mean, I mean now um, the Democratic Party. There's no one that is oh, not even semi or fifty percent progressive in there. Well, you make a mistake if you think. Well, Bernie, wa Bernie, was never Bernie, progressive. Bernie Sanders wants to is is obsessed with saving the Democratic Party. I don't see him. No, he's not. He's an independent. But he's all the articles I'm reading saying Bernie wants to change. Uh, bring what back, are you reading? Bring back the old Democratic Party. That is so old. That is 1800s. The Progressive Democratic Party. And it wasn't a Democratic Party per se, it was the Progressive Party, which was Populist. sucked into the Democratic Party. Well, what about the po the populists? They were populists were sucked into the Democratic Party. But over the years, the Democratic Party became a corporate party, just like the Republicans. So you wouldn't expect them to be progressive. Well, they became corporatists uh, because they take... Uh, they take a fortune in donations from the uh, corporations for their campaigns and right. and like. Uh, and what are they going to do something for you if they're, if they're taking money from them? Of course you owe them. Uh, even think uh, Iker, Euchre, whatever. Euchre. Bob Euchre yeah. from base. No, so hey. Iker. You know, even he admits, of course you owe them something in return. Hey. I mean, they're not going to give you all that money, but you know, even when. Um, Sank Iker was on a uh, politicking with Larry King on on Aura TV. He was he he didn't he uh, evaded uh, avoided uh, you know bashing did the same thing Bernie Sanders did. He avoided uh, bashing the Hillary campaign and Hillary. He uh, he went very light. He, he, he tried to be very general, explaining how yeah. the political system works. Yeah, well, he didn't hammer. He didn't hammer out any people, you know, in terms of by, you know, by name, the scoundrels that are at the top of the oligarch and blah blah blah. Uh, he, you know, he was very light in his interview. He didn't mention the fact that Edward Snowden should have been pardoned a long time ago. Uh, um, Nothing should have happened to him. Julian, uh, why didn't, why didn't, the, why, I mean, that the media did not really uh, uh, televise uh, 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 the uh, findings by WikiLeaks, really? They didn't really go into detail with WikiLeaks. They, I mean, they, he, didn't, he didn't bash uh, uh, the FBI with Comey and uh, Loretta Lynch, Obama administration. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he didn't get real, he didn't get hard-hitting at all, Sank. He, he, he was very uh, uh, smiley and uh, And, and now light. it's old, all old news. Now, on, on Aura is internet streaming. You're supposed to lower the boom on internet uh, talk shows. And he went light. Hey, I also didn't realize that uh, Sank was quite an entrepreneur. That Sank makes money. Well, he has to support himself somehow. Doing what he does with uh, the Young Turks and, uh, uh -huh. you know, I mean, he's... Uh, and Wolf, what's that Wolf thing? Wolf or something. What's it? Where he's got, they're going to try to... Uh, uh, it's a project that they are involved in, that which is supposed to... Uh, 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 help or take over you know, Citizens United or to to bring it about, you know, get rid of it and all this other shit. Well, I know oh, Jill, Jill Stein is, is obsessed with the, uh, having a recount take place. We will just discuss that number uno here. The recount, uh, heaven forbid. Three states, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan. So what about a recount for the Democratic primaries where Bernie Sanders got screwed? Old news. I'm not, I'm not willing, I'm, 
Well, hey, uh, Hillary Clinton losing to Trump is also in our past. That's correct. But, but not do you, do you a, think? Do you think I want a good recall? Do you think I fucking want Hillary Clinton to take the place of Donald Trump? I'm not that well, far. Yeah. I'm not that fucking far to the left. But anyway. Well, you better take a little bit better notes of the people he's hiring in his cabinet. No, I'm not willing to settle for the lesser of two evils. Actually, it isn't the lesser of two evils. You might as well say we're going to have World War III. Putin was right. That's it. Well, who's going to start World War III? The, well, who do, you, who do you think the military-industrial complex likes? Who do you think the United States who, of America? Who do you think the uh, the uh, who do you spends all the money? Who do you think the oligarch likes, buddy boy? The United States of America. No, 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 no. Fifty-seven percent of the budget goes to the military. So do you think? What does Putin spend? So do you think? Do you think Donald Trump uh, is uh, um, a favor? Uh, is favored by the this corruption I just mentioned? Of course. You think Donald Trump will uh, do the bidding of the oligarch and the... Uh... He is one. No, he didn't take campaign contributions. It doesn't matter. He's rich. He's an oligarch. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the uh, war for profit people. Well, what does that have to do with it? He's there. He's going to do it. He, See, he, he won't admit that the military-industrial complex and the oligarchy, we're talking about the world banks, the banks. That's, a, the, that's world. Well, I'm talking about the United States of America. What about it? That's who spends you all know the what? money. You know what? All right. I, I'm for Trump staying in because if I can't get Bernie Sanders or Jill Stein, I'm for Trump. All right. That's it. I'm done. I'm not going to debate with you because I know. Look, on my Facebook group, there's a lot of neat. There's some neoliberals there. There's some uh, hipsters. You know, like you know, uh, I love you. You love me. Kumbaya and all that shit. They won't <laughs> say a discouraging word about anybody or any group. You know, they think, eh, all right. The, the American people are not willing for real positive change. And unfortunately, when you're dealing with evil, the only uh, uh, option evil change? the only option is a revolution, is the second civil war. How about evil change? Because that's what you're getting with Trump. Total well, evil why, why, change. Why is look at the people he's putting in his cabinet? Why is Bernie Sanders getting screwed? Old news, but uh, not Hillary. Because he's no longer in the public eye. Because he, he, Trump he so, because he sort of gave up, right? He capitulated. I don't know what he did. I'm still fi trying to figure out what okay, he did. I don't know what he did. I'm trying to figure out. Probably what, did the, what was best for him. I tr I tr I'm trying to figure out with Jeff Weaver and Bernie Sanders why they uh, endorsed Hillary Clinton instead of going to the Green Party. I'm, I, uh, I mean, if Bernie Sanders was such was such a progressive at all these rallies, and Jeff we uh, Weaver. I mean, it only makes sense that you, you flock to the Green Party. Well, he didn't. Uh, he didn't, right? Well, he he Which didn't. means he did what that goosenecked Elizabeth Warren did, and she don't have no fucking Indian blood in her. Because I read an article about her liar. She Maybe did, they Maybe. they just went with the fat cat, and the Democrats are just they're fat cats. Just like the other side, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, you know what? Uh, an ultra liberal will avoid war and conflict and uh, violent protest and uh, militias and all that. An ultra liberal thinks that somehow a a benevolent uh, alien uh, race will come and save us, or, or, or maybe Jesus himself will come back ne or now and save us. Or whatever they believe, besides partying and they don't believe that. smoking pot, they don't, they're not pro, they don't proactively grab the bull by the horns, let's put it that way. Yeah, but neither does other people. Look, you got the people out there protesting against Trump, the ultra -right and when they interview him, guess what? They what? say, I didn't vote. At all. At all. Apathy again. But they're out there protesting. So what the hell are they protesting for? 
If you don't vote, well, that's my why, point, why com darling. Why complain? Hey, they complained in 2014, uh, the, the the other election, and and there was huge apathy. You know, if you complain and you don't vote, <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> well, that's what happened in some parts of you the know, states. And and Jill Stein, shockingly, and the and the, uh, the voters for Trump came out of the woodwork. Yeah, and if everything was on the up and up. And uh, Bernie Kratz, uh, the, obviously you didn't support Jill Stein because Jill Stein w uh, got a very uh, small percentage of the uh, polling, right? That's correct. You know, and, and the media surely didn't mention. The only reason no. why the media mentioned Bernie Sanders is because he was running as a Democrat. There you go. But they, the media will not acknowledge and recognize third parties that or, in, is correct. or independence. That because, is correct. Because the oligarch is like feudalism. It's like uh, uh, imperialism. And we, the are, two, we are immersed in the two-party system. Two-party system is part of modern-day feudalism. Well, it's modern-day America. So, Period. Uh, so when you keep on saying America, but it's America, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to see the holy, uh, uh, the 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 light come out of the sky, go, whoo! It's America. What does that mean? It's America. It's America. It's whatever you want to have find out about what my polling or whatever. Uh, that yeah. is how America operates. That's how America operates. Yeah. And because America operates that way, that you, th is that any different? From from go back to the fifties. Is that any different from imperialism of the past? No, but go back to the fifties and sixties. Let's see how we treated the blacks back then before civil rights was implemented. Well, the economy was pretty good during Eisenhower. What right? the hell does that have to do with the what I just see? Said? What I mean, instead of looking at the overall picture, of, that of, was the overall picture. He, he, right away, it's he goes to discrimination. See. The ultra, because that was America at that time. Well, what about what about prosperity? The average American did very well. But he was lynching blacks and etc. Ultra liberalism at the same again. Time. Right away, you got to go to the you got to go to the civil rights. You got to go to discrimination. You can't look at the overall picture because of how well that the economy encompasses morality. Those things. Morality, eh? All right, morality. Economics. Morality. This economics. is the problem. Economics. Food on the table, roof over the head, clothes on the back. Uh, 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 getting your, uh, having uh, your bills paid off, and uh -huh. and that trumps. No pun intended. That trumps all this morality mumbo jumbo, like throwing people in but jail. But without the morality, you're not going to have an honest economic system. Well, people, so morality is first. All right, people bragged about the Eisenhower days, you know, because there were a lot of good points to it. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Here we go. We got, we got to feel sorry for the downtrodden people all the time. Oh, the got to. Uh, you know what? I don't. I don't believe in special treatment for any lobbying group. Period. I don't care if there's lesbians the lobby. or gays, huh? The poor don't lobby. That's why they don't no. get anything. Well, the poor don't don't. Uh, for first of all, the poor was brainwashed in in school by all the lying uh, uh, history books, not telling them the truth if about what happened, school. huh? If they went to school. If they went to school, and then they listen to. They figure well, if it's if it's on mainstream media, then 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 it, it must be true. Otherwise, why would they allow it? That's how a lot of people think. Yeah, that's correct. Mainstream media is, is is keeping the truth from you. Edwin Newman, uh, what you call it? What, what what was that guy? Can't fucking uh, win, man. Who died? Get, the uh, news commentators. They thought, you know, that's when they got their new where they got their news, and they thought they were being very honest. Well, there are, you know there are people today like William Morrow that thinks that uh, the old-fashioned unbiased journalism is still here. Yeah. He's living. He's living in the past. But uh, the <laughs> the two people, the two guys who uh, uh, investigated Watergate and etc. They will tell you that investigative journalism is. Okay. Yeah, because they uh, they got uh, people giving them uh, 
information through their earphone. They got teleprompters. They got the 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 whole corporate news went commercial. Simple as that. So yeah. you're not getting the truth when you're putting money somewhere. The truth goes bye bye. So they're reading scripts. Whatever. And Whatever. it depends on where those scripts come from. Why? 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 Uh, right. Well. You think Channel 7 is going to say anything bad about Disney? Disney owns them. Yeah. Well, All right. are they going to say something bad about Disney? Absolutely not. Well, there's That's your, what you got. Hey, you got people. There's your capitalism. Kiss ass. <clears throat> uh, a sycophants. Mm -hmm. Sycophanting in different forms. Mm -hmm. The the uh, the hipster ultra liberal uh, sycophants uh, kisses ass of lobbying groups that want special treatment. The uh, the rich uh, Republican side, uh, you know, well, I, the rich conservative. I shouldn't say Republican because Democrats are very wealthy too. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the rich conservatives they kiss up to the corporate CEOs. You know, uh, I mean, a, a true progressive is not going to kiss up to the corporate CEOs, but they're going to kiss up to uh, specific groups, give special treatment, special treatment, like like if they the, have groups, like the gay and lesbians are really upset, crying that their person did not win the election. You know, well, perfect example. Why do we have to? Why uh, do we need a recount just to make all the gays and lesbians happy? We're making other people happy, not just the gays and lesbians. Well, they're pro. They're pro. They are not even one twentieth of the t the population. Then who who in their right mind uh, 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 has these? With all the with all the with all the information that that, that has come out about. Both sides and the Hillary campaign, specifically WikiLeaks and Anonymous and all that. I mean, don't people like research anything and then make a decision based on that, or they just watch the uh, boob tube of mainstream news? And Why should they when it's being fed into their ears? Why do you want to? Do you people don't do homework if they don't have to. This guy. <laughs> This guy wants to Be just, just the You put your interpretation on stuff now. You know, you have you have modern day uh, uh, imperialism in, in 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 the corporate oligarch, and he just doesn't he just doesn't believe in a, a, a really proactively. Fighting and da and and getting down and dirty to win the the the. I the, do that every time I put war. out a newsletter. Do I not? I'm talking about. Oh, no, you're talking about what? What does it take for me to put out a newsletter? Well, you're doing the very best you can by putting. It out doesn't the matter. I'm doing the research and etc. Yeah. to be able to write no, you, about you're that. you're trying stuff to here. to quell my. Uh, uh, you're trying to. Trying you're to trying to say. You're trying to say that I should just accept the corporate oligarch. I'm trying to tell you that there's more than these little divisions that you pull out everywhere to, to criticize. It's the whole damn situation. Well, I don't, well, uh, 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 on the internet, when they show pictures of uh, angry. Burr. Frustrated uh, Hillary Clinton protesters, they always show a bunch of chicks crying. They're all women. So? And and they're like, wah, wah. Maybe that's not the only pictures they got. No, no, that's not a. No, those are the feminists. You are interpreting. There would be men there too in the photograph. Yeah, but if they happen to just take the pictures of the women, you're interpreting it that they're lesbians. And yeah, feminist lesbians. lesbians, right, right. But it may not be. It may be the only picture they took. Now, how come everyone is like that? There's not. Cut it out. I man. don't see photographs on the <laughs> internet with men in it crying about Hillary losing. Well, they ain't gonna cry. They're gonna be pissed off if they were for her. They ain't gonna cry. Listen, 
Finito. You you won't put down any group in criticism for any reason. But that's your choice. But I'm putting down every group. I mean, listen. What Jill, are you saying? Jill Stein, Jill Stein doesn't do it. She's a hipster ultra liberal. Uh, Gary No doesn't doesn't do it. Uh, well, he goes on a tirade. He does go on a tirade and get angry about certain things. But when James does it, I oh I'm being ne Gary I'm being no. negative and toxic. He tells people me people of Gary Knowles ilk don't just talk about things; they do things. Okay, it's much like people like uh, uh, what is that uh, 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 something for Habitat that build the the uh, how Habitat for Humanity Habitat for Humanity. They don't just talk about it, they do something about it. And that's what you have to motivate people to do. Not just yak about something, but to do something about well, something. Well, obviously... Uh, but if you're just going to divide, you're doing the same thing that Trumpy did through well, his campaign. protesting's not working. What because it's yak yak, that's why. Protesting is not helping the poor Native Americans up in North Dakota with the, where the pipeline is. No. Protesting? No, it's not. It's not helping them. Why do the people have to protest, but the lobbyists go in to the congressmen and senators with an envelope? Yeah, okay, the there's your problem. The lobbyists, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, the uh, the uh, was it the oil co the specific oil company? Is 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 winning uh, over the fact that they're stealing sacred Native American land and protesting by the Indians gets some publicity, but that's about it. You know, and they got these thugs, these goon boys, and that's always been the case. The National Guard, the police, the Pinkertons, the dancers, they've always worked for the company, always against the union yeah you notice against the population you notice that the the personnel of the of these uh, Pinkerton types and, um, and the National Guard and, and the police etc cetera, etc cetera, you notice that these people forget their roots where they came from bingo they might before they they got they took the job to whore themselves out to uh, the oligarch mm-hmm they might have been from a, a, a lower middle class or they low, probably still are or low income family you know or average middle class working stiff family mm -hmm. so they they could have been from humble beginnings because nobody in in the top 20 percent of of income is going to lower themselves by joining a police force you know, no people, uh, aristocrat, the children of aristocrats or the children of the top 20% do not join no. uh, Pinkerton security, guard, whatever, security, National Guard, police. They don't have to. Even they don't the, have to. Even the military, it's a very occasional that you see right. someone's uh, child. So what I'm saying, all the these goon boy thugs that are armed against unarmed Native Americans, they forgot where they came from. They forgot their roots. Hey, Occupy Wall Street. Let's let's go in a time capsule. Occupy Wall Street. The cop that's that's pepper mace those uh, unarmed young uh, uh, college girls that were sitting on the, on the grass yeah. Yeah. in the face. Yeah. Oh, big macho man, huh? And then, and where did he? Where where did you come from, buddy? And then you'll always see. Sometimes you'll see a black policeman unarmed attacking black people once you join a group let's just take an example of the Nazis yeah in World War two you could jo join this elite group of people you consider yourself better than the populace and the rest and therefore you can do anything you want to well, look at the look at the black because they are nothing look at the black Republican uh, 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 politicians that ran this year uh, and in the past with Herman Cain black Republican doesn't that go against yes. their people yes it does hey does it Republic doesn't the Republican Party go against the poor people living in shacks in Kentucky yes 
But they keep voting them in in Kentucky. Much must be too much bourbon. That's what it is. Well, maybe it could be that 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 phony uh, uh, religious well, religious cult, that evangelical yes, yes, that yes, evangelical yes, cult. Yes, yes. Because you can't all get over the fact that Democrats are baby killers. Listen, and you, secular listen, humanists. you stupid idiots. Okay. A fertilized human egg. <laughs> Is a potential, a potential baby. It is no more a human baby than an acorn mm. is an oak tree. It is potential. It is not a anywhere close to. Hey, an acorn. If you, uh, the Koreans make a dessert by grinding up acorns uh, into a flour and, and making some some kind of pudding out of it from mm. acorns. Uh, the Koreans have a dessert. Yes. Does that mean they murdered all those all those trees, all those magnificent, massive right. oak trees? That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's the same mentality as a fertilized egg, and 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 uh, getting all uh, uh, obsessed with Planned Parenthood, being you know, getting it defunded and all that. I mean, it's a fertilized egg. It's nothing. It's like the eggs in, in my omelet, which would melt the provolone cheese. Ooh, that sounds good. Or Swiss. Or Colby. Or Cheddar. Uh, White or or yeah. Uh, Eight Cheddar's not bad. You know? You know, I like I like all cheeses except phony cheese, which is processed cheese food like American Velveeta cheese whiz. I'm I'm very much against that crap. Yeah. Even though some cheap bastards put it in their Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Yes they do, it's an original. Uh, no, it's they made it the original no, recipe. No, 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 no. They made it original. Mm -hmm. I, I've had cheesesteaks with real cheese. They made it original because it's cheaper and they can increase their profits on on a sale of cheesesteaks. Oh, whatever. But they can say anything. To, see you, but see, that's the see you, 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 you believe this original? No. It's the original. But there's a guy across the street that doesn't sell it with that. <clears throat> so you know, good for him. He's not original. It's the original. Well, you have your choice. So, why, I'm supposed to accept it because it's the original cheesesteak recipe? America should be about choice. Yes. Not something rammed down your throat. It's so if you don't like the original, go across the street and get the other one. Hey, even Eggs Benedict, which I believe Jeez. is a poached egg with hollandaise sauce poured on. Even the hollandaise sauce is not made with any processed <clears throat> food. Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, is, mayonnaise is actually a real food. Yeah, well, it is. It's a real oil and uh, egg and. Uh, well, the, <laughs> it's egg. It's yeah. a little vinegar. It's uh, oil. Um, oil is used to uh, make mayonnaise. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, but what were you know, Velveeta? Hey, I I I had World War Three over Velveeta and Cheese Whiz with that guy Red Rooster from uh, uh, from the internet from Facebook. I mean, it was a huge war for months. Yeah, because, but because he was defending Cheese Whiz and uh, saying it was great, and and Velveeta, and I said he's a stupid redneck uh, idiot. That may be so, but you don't, you can't talk somebody out of what they like. But if they're a moron, I could tell them that I can tell them why they're a moron. No, you can tell them, the, you know, about the originality of a what a... Well, it's, a process, it's a processed cheese food. That's it, and everything. But it's up to them to want to change. It's like somebody saying, oh, I've been I've been using turkey bacon. I just think it's divine. Yeah. Well, guess what? I had turkey well, it's bacon. It's not turkey and it's not bacon. It's not turkey. <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's not, it's not, it's, it, it'll never come close to real bacon. Right. You know, it's, it, but that's, you know... If they don't like it, they don't like it. You know, uh, uh, God knows. I mean, look, look at Oscar. Look at the bolognese uh, and and uh, and spam or, um, I mean, uh, some of the cheap cold cuts mm. that are like ninety nine cents a package. Ah, yeah. You know, Where the, the hell are you getting those? The bolognese, the cook. Oh, I see them all the time. Where I shop, but you read it. And it's om it's almost like like byproducts. That's what it is. They're all ground together. Your average Ameri oh, your average American supermarket hot dog is is full is all byproducts. Garbage. Yeah, meat byproducts. 
That's that is a not a real food. That is a processed right food. Look at Hawaii. They eat spam all the time. Well, I never really scrutinize the ingredients of spam. Neither did I. So I'm not gonna criticize spam before I read the ingredients. Well, buy a can, and if you don't eat it, bring it over here. And let me look at the ingredients too. Oh, by the way, where I go, all these, they yeah. have a very inexpensive, um, uh, they have uh, what they call the summer sausage sticks. They're miniature. And some is garlic flavor, some is original, but they are they come they come in shrink wrap, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, vacuum packed, and, they're, and they're, they're, they're sticks, you know, like Slim Jims. Yeah, one at a time, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, thicker than a Slim Jim. Yeah. Oh yeah, but but there's I don't know if you can if you like summer sausage. No, I mean I think this weekend I'm having somebody pick me up some uh, salami and cheese. Real salami. Yeah, but well, they have real salami there too. A Genoa. Well, yeah, hard they sale. got a hard hard. They have Italian hard salami and uh, Genoa is more reddish. And uh, but anyway, we're 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 digressing. Yes, let's, we are. Let's begin because we're hungry. Well, I may I had a, a stack of my my uh, 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 gluten-free uh, vegan uh, ho uh, whole grain pancakes made from scratch, uh -huh. and I used the light agave uh -huh. syrup uh -huh. because there's no freaking way I'm paying six dollars for pure maple syrup for a small bottle. There's no freaking way uh -huh. I'm using pancake syrup. Which has yeah, high. They don't use. Uh, what's that woman on? It had Jemima. The real That's garbage. Real pancake syrup. It's garbage. Has a, as its first ingredient high fructose corn sure, sure. syrup. Yeah, there you go. Which is not good for you, especially yeah. if it's GMO corns. Ugh. GMO, which it probably is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Election officials in three states will have to move quickly. If the Green Party's presidential nominee, Jill Stein, is able to force a recount. Stein and Reform Party candidate Rock, Rocky De La Fuente Rock, separately Rocky. filed recount requests late Friday in Wisconsin, the state's first for a presidential race. Well, that's where they're from. Yeah. On the final day, they were able to do so. As liberals raised fears about hacked voting machines, Stein has raised more than five million dollars to pay for recounts. Liberals who voted for Hillary that think they're voting for a liberal. There and in Michigan and Pennsylvania. That's more than 3.5 million she raised as a candidate. See, that's all she raised was 3.5 million dollars. That's why you didn't see her anywhere. Yeah, because because they the people wanted Bernie, and Bernie let them down. Well, he stayed in as long as he could. But you can't he, blame him for but, that. But when he when he withdrew from the Democratic Party after realizing what happened, him and Weaver should have uh, went to right to Stein. They should have took the well, Green I'm Party. Well, I'm not sure they knew about this before that. No, no, they got at an offer time. from the Green Party for, for a long no, time. No, no, I know that, but I'm saying they didn't know about the possibility of voting fraud, hacking. Oh, or really? You know. I guess we must be uh, prophets compared to uh, my, uh, Jeff Weaver and no. Bernie Sanders. Before but, that, the thing with Bernie happened within the Democratic Party. DNC. Yeah, not outside in the voting. Oh, this is strictly for the this, uh, this presidential. Is for the That's correct. Presidential <laughs> election. What occurred in the election, right? Well, it's not going to help. I don't think it's going to help Jill Stein. If Jill Stein is doing this, to, I don't think she's doing it to help herself. If she's doing this to get Hillary she's in, she's not going to get enough votes out of that to help herself. If Jill Stein is going through all this trouble. To get to get Hillary in and Trump out, then Jill Stein is doing what Elizabeth Warren did, Bernie Sanders did. They're they're settling for the the queen corporatists. 
they're settling well, for the queen corpses. Again, what they're figuring is the lesser of two evils. Look well, at well, this is the problem with America. Hold on, this is the problem with America. Look at Trump's cabinet. Jeff Sessions, Flynn, etc. He's putting ra racists in there. Uh, Bannon. Well, uh, he's only a strategist with the uh, the chief. He's not in the cabinet per se. Okay, but yeah, he's a racist. So watch what he's putting in the cabinet. Everything's got to be about. And even Ben Carson says he'll take the job of uh, uh, at HUD. Okay? Everything's so he can make it hard for blacks and the poor in housing. What about the econ for economic reasons like uh, 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 Paul Ryan, uh, you know, just want to want cut, 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 cut food stamps, cut everything, yeah. steal Social mm -hmm. Security. When you're putting the people in there, they're going to help you do that. That's more important hey. than, than being obsessed with racism all the time. The, the whole overall economic picture. It's all bad. It's all bad. Hey, when Black. the when the poor Black. when the poor have to uh, uh, don't have the essentials uh -huh. of life, that's bad. Yeah. That's why uh, FDR had a what was that the, the uh, Bill of Rights, the Second Bill of Rights, or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Yes, well, yes. Donald Trade, Donald Trump wants to get do away with gerrymandering. That's great. Well, that's a good thing because you know that uh, keeps the Republicans in power. Gerrymandering, uh, 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 electoral college, and superdelegates. Those three things are bad news for a fair, honest election. Well, whatever they do for those things, the economy is going to be first. Okay. Well, yeah, if there's jobs brought back to the U.S. and, and, and um, uh, if you start tariffing... No jobs will ever be brought back. Other than tariff, tariff we may the in some hell. way be able to prevent some from leaving, well, you, but none will ever come back. Well, you just then you just tariff the products when they they come off you the cargo ship. You do ship. that, but I'm saying the jobs themselves will never come back. So, so all these customer service jobs that are in the Philippines now, they may they may stay there, unless the Duarte, uh, what's his name, the kicks them out. Yeah, but I'm saying. We'd have to have a second rev, uh, industrial revolution in this country, as as per manufacturing, to be able to uh, bring back those jobs or make more in this country. Yeah, well, that uh, as, far, as far as far as I'm concerned, uh, industrial uh, uh, manufacturing industry, uh, working in a factory or or working on uh, crumbling infrastructure, these are all. These are not glamorous careers. They, no. I mean, these are all, these are all dirty, dusty, smelly manual labor jobs. That's right. But necessary. But somebody's got to do it. Yes. You know. Hitting on December the thirteenth, federal deadline to certify electoral votes: ten in Wisconsin, sixteen in Michigan, and twenty in Pennsylvania could be particularly tricky in a by-hand count. Wisconsin's top election official said, you may potentially have the state electoral votes at stake if it doesn't get done by then. A lawyer with Stein's campaign said, she wants the recount done by hand, something that Haas said would require a judge's order and would take longer. Stein received just 1% of the vote in each of the three states. De La, <coughs> excuse me, De La Fuente had about 1,500 votes in Wisconsin, a fraction of a percent of the ballots cast there. He was not on the ballot in the other two states. What we're doing is standing up for an election system that we can trust. We deserve to have votes that we can believe in, Stein said. This is a commitment that Greens have expressed, that we stand for election integrity, that we support voting systems that respect our vote. We demand voting systems that are accurate, that are publicly controlled, and that are not privatized. Well, Jill Stein doesn't show that 
kind of enthusiasm when she speaks. <laughs> she's like Liberace. She's very she's soft spoken and she smiles continuously. Yeah, uh, uh, um, she doesn't. Uh, oh, and she's <laughs> being interviewed, of course. Yeah, she doesn't have the charisma. Charisma. Hey, the charisma. New word. The charisma that a Bernie Sanders had when he was doing his rallies. You know, Bernie Sanders. You know, you, you gotta, like you just did. You gotta get pissed when you're emphasizing certain sentences, certain parts of your uh, your speech or your rant. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, people. Hey, Americans. It seems like they like to be entertained a lot, even if it's politics. Americans well, like to be entertained. There was a movie called Network a while ago, a lot many years ago, and in it, the actual news became entertainment. Man. And that's how they presented the news to the people every day. Oh, that's why they joke around with each other in a newsroom. They maybe they flirt well, a little this bit. This is to establish a rapport with the viewer. Okay. Hey, I established when I used to work in retail. I established a great rapport with my customers. They they came in looking for me by name, but the company didn't want that. Uh -huh. The company wanted me to push, 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 sell, 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 and get on to the next. Move on to the next customer and do the same thing with them. There you go. No rapport. Donald Trump's election has sparked shock and protests around much of the world. But in Russia, the president-elect is being embraced with widespread approval. Oh, yeah. In fact. Many here think he'll be one of the best American presidents ever. But he has to, he has to get new advisors, he has to... <laughs> no, he's got new, he's, what he's put in there now are the ones you will enjoy for the next four years. Yeah, I heard he did a U-turn on climate change. Not a U-turn. A new look at. A new look at. Well... You simply don't listen to the uh, uh, greedy uh, Republicans that are in bed with the fossil fuel industry. You sit down with the top scientists of the world. But if you believe a false religion above science, you're not going to you're not going to believe the science. Yeah, but Donald Trump is not that stupid to get hooked to get involved in that that religious cult of uh, evangelical... He needed it to get the votes. Counterfeit Christianity. And he went to church on last Sunday. Oh, why did he have to do that? <laughs> why? He has to show. Uh, but these people are, are morons. Just under half of those surveyed after the U.S. election by Vizion or V-T-S-I-O-M, a state-run research center said that if given the opportunity, they would have voted for Donald Trump. Only 4% said they would have backed Democrat Hillary Clinton, who took a hard line against Russia during her tenure as Secretary of State. The survey found that about one-third of Russians think Trump will likely go on to become one of the best presidents in the United States history. Oh, Putin is anti-military industrial complex, anti-oligarch, anti-George Soros. Of course Hillary's not going to like Vladimir Putin. Trump is a huge advantage, is a huge advantage for Russia. Anti-Rothschild? It's Putin. clear Trump's willing to figure out some of the problems we have between our two countries. Sam Morukov said he believes Russia is doing its best to resolve differences with, it, with the U.S. over Russia's annexation of Crimea and its backing of separatists in eastern Ukraine. Well, they don't As, like Obama. Who doesn't like Obama? 
see that stare down in Peru between uh, Putin and Obama? Well, would you like it if they he came in and annexed Crimea and uh, is trying to take over the Ukraine again? No, I I, I agree. Like with, I, I agree with Putin. But it's not his country. It's an independent country. This is what Hitler did. Well, the Ukraine is independent. Yeah. Yeah, right, well, he Crimea. took it over. Crimea He's going to take it over. He Crimea. took over Crimea already. Crimea is an important, I think, naval base for... That's Russia. correct. That is correct. But wasn't Crimea, uh, after Russia lost its co its, its uh, Soviet colonies, if you want to call them that, wasn't Crimea, in yes. Crimea remain in, in, in Russia? Ukraine. Ukraine. Well, Crimea, Crimea is Belong, technically Crimea part of... Crimea belongs to the Ukraine. Okay? It never belonged to Russia un, uh, until they were the Soviet Union. When it just took it over. Oh, uh, okay. Like Hitler did with uh, Poland. Oh, 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 oh. Strategically, it was an important naval Warm base. water port, yes. Uh... President Barack Obama <coughs> has had tense relations with Russian President Vladimir Putin since Moscow's intervention in neighboring <coughs> Ukraine in 2014, a move that prompted Western sanctions against Russia. The two men also have clashed over Syria's war. Russia's military is supporting Assad against rebel groups, while Obama is supporting some of those rebels and wants the Syrian leader to step down because of brutal attacks on civilians. Riley broke down and cried in the confessional when she sought forgiveness for an abortion more than 30 years ago. Oh, God sakes. She got it. And it helped her to heal from a pain so great she had considered taking her own life. Oh, give me a break. The parish priest was the first person who gave me any hope that I could be forgiven. When, when did Riley. she get the abortion? When it was uh, thirty years ago? No, it, it, was it an um, an embryo that breathed like a fish? Who knows? That's not the issue here. She's in, she, she's a Looney Tunes. You're focusing on the wrong issue here. The issue here is the Pope has given priests the ability to forgive those sins of abortion. Shall I say Martin Luther indulgences? So it sounds like. Okay. You paid for forgiveness? Yeah, because they thought they had a bad phone to God. Yeah. Well, because the Pope is the vicar of Christ. He stands in for Christ. Well, that's that's what the Catholic Church says. That is correct. We the Catholic it. Church oh. is above the Bible. Yeah, well, anybody, anybody who thinks they're above the, the Bible, the Constitution, uh, I mean, they can say anything, you know what I mean? No kidding. You know, I mean, uh, we can give each other honorary PhDs because we say so, you know, I mean, how many how many college credits would would they be worth? <laughs> Not much if you didn't know my, much about the subject, <laughs> but you sought the degree. Yeah, you well, ought to know something about the, the the subject that you seek a degree in. Well, doesn't yeah doesn't don't celebrities get honorary degrees? Yes, they do all the time. Without having expertise in the degree that they receive. That is correct. Sometimes you'll see uh, a musician get an honorary uh, doctorate of music or something. But otherwise, it's something they don't, they, they don't use, they don't know nothing about, you know? Whatever. Yeah. So, so. 
sounds like how freaking helicopters are above our uh, research center. Little smooth out. Most Roman Catholic dioceses in America have long allowed parish priests to grant absolution for the grave sin of abortion. Is it dioceses? Diocese. Oh, diocese. They're where they rule. Oh yeah, the, where the, re they rule. the region. Yeah. They have an archbishop, usually uh, the archbishop. Well, the uh, dioceses are where the priests rule. What I'm saying is, the yeah, the priests, but the, but the region has an archbishop. Well, there's always someone over the priest, yes. Yeah. Like uh, Cardinal Dolan is over uh, parish priest they, in they, New York. Do they still use the, the rank called Monsignor? He's there too, yeah. Yeah, Monsignor is above a, pri uh, a regular priest. And I think the uh, the Archbishop of uh, the diocese, the diocese has a, a, a head church. Like in, huh. in New York City, it's St. Patrick's Cathedral. That's the the region, the, the uh, archdiocese. Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. But elsewhere in the world, the intercession of a bishop was required. In a letter to the faithful this weekend, Pope Francis said, priests everywhere could now grant the forgiveness extending in perpetuity a change made for the church's special year of mercy, which just concluded. The pronouncement will allow for a change in the way things are done in other parts of the world, most notably Africa and the Philippines. Even in the United States, he, James Bretsky, and other clergy say the move sends a strong message of reconciliation. Once they show sorrow for what happened, we want to welcome them back. Sorrow? Oh, so they gotta, they gotta shed some crocodile tears. Yes. Yes, they have to be uh, repented. It's all about repentance. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta sort of, you gotta carry on a little bit. You repent in front of them. The church's position on abortion is called infanticide. I like that word. Has not changed, but the Pope's letter is viewed as an overture to those who are contrite and may have been alienated from the church. Oh boy, oh boy. I wish to state, restate as firmly as I can that abortion is a grave sin since it puts an end to an innocent life. I want to state firmly that the only time the Bible mentions when life begins, and uh, the Reverend Dr. Bill told me, is when God put the first breath into Adam. Yes, a full created human. Once not he, a fetus, not an embryo, not a potential child, baby, whatever. Once he experienced the first respiration. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if the God spanked him on the ass, too. <laughs> and that wasn't bad. Sometimes I can't do the Tarzan yell at all. Oh, Carol Burnett oh, can. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Oh, Carol she, Burnett can. Oh, Carol Burnett does it great. Yeah, yeah once, once he res respired respirated for the first time. Not not the emphysema sound that, that Dr. Bill made, but uh, yeah, that that's when life really well, Let me try to finish All right, finish up, finish up. Uh, it's uh, that time. I know, I know. I can and must state that there is no sin that God's mercy cannot reach and wipe away when it finds a repentant heart. The issue has roiled the country and the church. Uh, said uh, John O'Brien, the head of Catholics for Choice, issued a statement lauding the Pope's letter for taking a more pastoral rather than political approach. Pope Francis's real message today is perhaps not for women at all, but for his brother bishops and priests who sometimes have seemed hell-bent on punishing 
Catholic women for their conscience-based decisions when they don't comport with the hierarchy. Uh, they want what did Trump say? Yes, there must be a punishment. The, 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 these, these, these Catholic priests sound like they want to bring back the Middle Ages with the heresy charges. That's correct. The tearful confession was the first step toward reconnecting and healing. Quack, quack. She <laughs> later attended a retreat run by the Newark Archdiocese that allowed her finally to forgive herself. Riley now runs the retreat program called Rachel's Vineyard. Ugh, Rachel. Which features prayer and counseling and memorials for <laughs> couples who have been traumatized by abortion. I don't have a string of Pelopines. She said many people stay away from the church thinking that they can't be forgiven. The majority oh, think they can't confess this, she said. Okay. Indeed, during the year of mercy, People came forward to confess long ago abortions to parish priests despite the fact that the option had been open to them for decades. The Pope's letter keeps that door open. James Goodness, a spokesman for the Newark Diocese, Goodness. said confession with the parish priest <laughs> is a far less intimidating prospect than appealing to church hierarchy for forgiveness. James Goodness, Brother Goodness. That's correct. Pastor Goodness. <laughs> he is. Winchester Cathedral. Do do do. Remember that song? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, do -do -do -do. absolutely. We're going to break for lunch. Then you will hear promo, and then we'll come back. Bye. All right, is that okay with you people? Absolutely. You jabronis out there? Hold on. Oh, Absolutely. Hold on for a second, man. I, I smell something very aromatic. Aroma? That's my toiki. Oh, uh, leftover toiki. No, no. Alvaro gave it to me. Oh, that's good. Fresh. He gave me a big, huge toiki. Toiki. That's Brooklyn talk for turkey. Toiki. Big, huge plate list. Oh. I tell you one thing, my sister outdid herself with the the, sh the home baked sugar free uh, pumpkin pie. I had pumpkin pie yesterday yeah. from him, she, and I'm going to have uh, coconut custard. She went pie. light on the nutmeg, light on the spices, uh -huh. because I want to taste pumpkin. I don't want my throat to burn. And she used stevia in moderation. There you go. And it was great, man. It was there great. You go. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 Hard Hitting Podcasts, Holistic Health Talk, and Progressive Discussions. I want to talk about the very foundation of our entire organization, the newsletter that was founded by my co host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman, in 1977. And that newsletter is called Censored. Newsletter Censored is truth and news fighting censorship and conservative propaganda. We believe we are living in the end times and you need Newsletter Censored. Newsletter Censored pr provides the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? Newsletter Censored is for the independent, critical, free thinker with an open mind. Besides the reading of Censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription 
to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Okay, boss. Okay. Ooh. Almost knocked that over. All right, boss. Ah. Yeah, we're back. Naturally, we're back. You see us. So we must be back. Fat back. Yeah, fat back. Now we shall resume with the second half of this week's progressive discussions. I'm with my co-host and mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisman, the very founder of the promo you just listened to, the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. <coughs> Dear Abby, I am a nine-year-old girl in the third grade. I have problems making friends. Girls my age and older don't like me much. Boys my age and older seem to be fine. Wow, that's not bad. It's important to get help in making girlfriends. Mm. I have three hopeless brothers. Hopeless? Wow, well, they're all hopeless at that age. I really don't like. Ah. My mom said I should tell you what I do like. Math science, dolls, and television. Math? Oh, she's a weirdo. I have crazy hair. Oh, this, oh, no wonder. Did you have this problem when you were my age? I think people think I'm weird. Well, if you like math, you're, you're fucked up, kid. You know, it's, it's great to be, there's it, nothing wrong with being great at math, but if you like math, Dear young reader, strange. Your mother is a smart woman. She knows how important common interests can be in forming relationships. True. Because you like math, science, dolls, and television, gravitate toward girls who like them too. If you do, you may find that some of them are receptive. Yeah, geeks. Geeks, geniuses. At your age, I wasn't part of the popular crowd. I was shy and terrible at sports. So I spent many hours alone in my room reading. I credit my success to that. Oh, I want to say uh, greetings with my lucky uh, weapons grade Blackthorn Shillelagh. Greetings to my new administrator of the group uh, named This Group Is About Nothing. I want to I want to give a shout out to um, Mr. Uh, 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 Steve Carlatini. Steve Carlatini, my new administrator. Welcome. I fell madly in love with a wonderful, kind man. He told me he had been with 30 plus women in his 55 plus years, primarily for sex. Yeah, he's like, um, on, um, who's that guy again? Um, Michael Jordan. No. Uh, uh, the uh, other one. Oh, God. Who was with 1,500 women or something? Oh, all right. Kareem. No, no, no. It was a cartoon character. Oh. Kareem um, Abdul. He, he I got to think. I got to think. When he told me he really loved me and had never truly felt this way before about any other woman, it won me over. And now we are married. Glenn Quagmire of, of uh, a Family Guy, the neighbor of, uh, of, um, 
why is my brain going blank? Glenn Quagmire, he's, he's like, a, like a horn dog, you know, he, he, he's a player. All right, go ahead. I am seven years younger than he is and had been divorced for about 15 years. My issue is that now my husband is not interested in sex with me at all. He states that he has already had that and now he just wants love. Because oh, he's getting old. I have cried and talked wah, wah. and asked for counseling but to no avail. I'm ready to walk away. I feel ugly and undesirable. He has promised to make changes but in 10 months nothing has changed. I love him deeply but my heart is telling me that this is now becoming toxic. Do you have any guidance? Dear Abandoned, the possibilities here are your husband was lying to you about his previous sexual experiences. <laughs> he contracted an STD that he does not want to disclose or transmit to you. He has a psychological Madonna whore complex going on where he does not associate sex with wholesome and lasting love. You know what? That is a very common psychological Especially issue. Especially among Catholics. You mean they, they have like a guilt trip if they try to combine a, a, a the love of their life, a real love relationship with sensuality? Sexuality. Sexuality, so they, they, they look towards the slut, the uh, the very risque, slutty the slut woman. slut is for sex, and the Madonna is for cooking spaghetti and meatballs in the kitchen. Taking care of the family, yeah. the house, the family. Yeah, you got it. And, yeah, uh, <coughs> those special moments. He has health problems affecting his libido. He is still having sex with other people on the down low. You know, stress can affect a man's libido quite a bit. And certain medications, too. Check with your doctor. And because he won't level with you. Go ahead. About what is going on with him, he and you are assuming responsibility for this as individuals rather than tackling this challenge as a couple. Your efforts should start in the office of a counselor who could help you to explore possible solutions. If he refuses counseling, you should go alone. He should also get a thorough medical exam. Yeah. That is it, say. Okay? Well, all I know is you'll never catch me shopping at a retail store or get, being stuck in traffic uh, on, on Black Friday or Black Saturday. No way. No way, Jose. I shop online anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, uh... So do a lot of people these days. Yeah, I think I think what's happening is retail stores are evolving into like uh, showrooms, where because they're they're not most of them are not really that well stocked anymore on the shelves, and they have websites and they do sell merchandise online. And uh, yeah, they don't carry a lot of inventory. They, yeah, they, they don't buy from other places even, like yeah. Sears. And a lot, and a lot of, and a lot of these companies are offering uh, free shipping in certain cases. So, like Sears will buy from Overstock.com and yeah. sell it to you. Oh, be aware of two things. Be be very wary, very wary of uh, popular charities 
They're all scams, the major charities. Um, and um, we already did a show on that. And also be very wary of gift cards because they have expiration dates. You figure. It's a gift card. It should, should always be worth what you paid for, right? Well, right. guess what? They steal it back from you. They take it back from you. All right. I suppose the letters will begin pouring in about how shocked people are that Donald Trump will now be forever known as Mr. President. I would have been completely shocked had he lost. I don't think he expected to win when he first started running. Only a generation ago, any single thing that Trump said or did would have sent him into obscurity forever. When he was doing Celebrity Apprentice, if you told me that this man was going to be our next president, I would have looked at you like you were from uh, the Andromeda Galaxy. Uh -huh. Seriously. Yeah. Now, he is the leader of the free world. Because nothing anyone does shocks anymore. Everybody is so desensitized. That's sad. There is no shame in our society. No shame, no morals, no feelings of remorse. There's nothing, there's no such thing as a ruined reputation. First lady with a naked portfolio. A brand, after all, can never have its reputation destroyed. Some of our inter uh, female entertainers and singers don't even bother wearing pants. Hey, just take a look at the Academy Awards, all the awards, how, how these uh, females are showing up, almost naked. Um, the average woman would never ever wear that. I mean, you know, they get away with it. Uh, it's almost like infamy makes you more famous than uh, uh, having uh, positive assets, positive qualities. Infamy puts you ahead in this country today. The lyrics to our music offer no respect to anyone or anything. But how can anyone possibly think that Hollywood and the rest of the media can send out one message but expect a different result when it comes to a presidential election? Well, a lot of articles explain that Hollywood and entertainment is uh, controlled by the secret society. Uh, it's a satanic cult secret society. Look at who and what has been influencing voters for the past 20 years. Our culture got the president it deserves. Perhaps the most ironic aspect is the celebrities and rappers who have declared they would move to Canada because of the election, when it is the culture for which they are responsible that led to Trump being elected. Hey, Grover Cleveland said it best. Americans will get exactly the kind of government they deserve. You know, I mean, uh, hey, uh, Rush Limbaugh never moved to Costa Rica or uh -huh. wherever when Obamacare came around. They were so upset about the poor finally getting health care. Yeah, they still Nobody's are. Nobody's leaving. Nobody's leaving. Well, actually, people are leaving, and Canada is, has become overburdened with uh, uh, immigration forms. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Uh. The long, dark campaign season has drawn to a close. And an American that I do not recognize has selected a president. An embarrassingly rude, crude, and persistently ignorant president. This is a president-elect who is considered at best a joke and at worst a loose cannon by leaders around the globe. It's, it's like a, uh, electing like a satire from Saturday Night Live. There you go. And a president-elect 
whose lack of concern for the little guy has been abundantly highlighted by accumulating a fortune through self-enriching bankruptcies that left workers and contractors destitute. Oh yeah, he stiff people. And finally, a president-elect whom I would not to want to be in the same room with my beautiful young niece, whom I would not want as my neighbor, whom I would define it and definitely not welcome in my home, and who stands in opposition to everything I was taught to value. Well, he grew up with a good family. But yeah. uh, when he when he uses the word taught, I hope he doesn't mean the bullshit he, he, he learned in school with the history books and all that flag waving mumbo jumbo. Don't, oh. for, don't forget what they did to the slaves and the Native Americans. So I have to ask of our country, please teach me how to embrace this person as my president to let the healing begin. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Don't, don't, never settle. Never settle, like my sister tells me. Don't settle, never settle. Just gotta accept it, suck it up, and accept it. And just, uh, you know, get a hobby. <laughs> What can I say? Get a hobby, get get involved, really involved in your hobby, and uh, life goes on. You got imbeciles for, for uh, fellow Americans. What can I say? Don't count on the change you wanted. Nope. In case you haven't noticed, Donald Trump is a loose cannon, an erratic, unless he is taped to a teleprompter and his Twitter account has been shut down. He flips, he flip flops a lot? Uh, yeah, but he wastes a lot of time on Twitter. He on things he, like that. He, and, he and enjoys on, Twitter. On small stuff. Oh. Okay. Well, he should worry about the big stuff, uh, like who he appoints. Uh, he already, he already has a religious freak for a vice president. If America really want to change, why are both houses of Congress still Republican majorities? Ah, very good question, America. You, uh, I guess you're not suffering enough to make real changes. Do you think members of the House will get along with President Trump any better than they did with Barack Obama? Depends. Republicans are the party of no compromise. Oh, no, no, no. There is no bipartisanship uh, from the Republican side. With the legislative and executive branches of government controlled by conservatives, there will be no checks and balances. See, uh, how Democrats quickly forget. Uh, you know, Democrats are always willing to work with their enemy, with their opposition. You know, uh, but not the Republicans. Here is what I don't understand. The backbone of Trump supporters earn less than $70,000, $5,000 a year. This is important. Listen. Are not college educated and probably rely on a number of federal programs that may be cut back. In my opinion, they voted against themselves. Yeah, they shot. They always shoot themselves in the foot. If there is any good news in all of this for me, Governor Christie will be given a job by Trump and leave office early. Well, that ain't happening. Well, he should give him a job. That's his yeah, friend. he called him his buddy, Chris Christie, one time. His friend, Chris Christie, my buddy. But Chris Christie prosecuted Irving Kirshner's, Kirshner's, whatever his name is, Alanka's husband. The Jew. Father. 
Oh, and, and Trump, like Hillary, is up up uh, New York City Jew Jew ass. Uh, the real estate uh, moguls, right? Big shots in real what estate. What kind of law is a Jew? Uh, Wall Street Jew. Yeah. Yeah, Jew. But Christie prosecuted his father. Oh. Oh. So uh, there's a revenge factor here going on with Mr. Christie. Okay? Poor Ivanka. Why, she could have got a real, married a real macho man with a, with a real sausage. A sasichi, you know, like a Italian American with a hairy chest. Says she had to marry this coddled uh, uh, Jew boy there. Your paper, a sasich, and the rest of the establishment media denigrated Donald Trump far beyond the requirements defining good journalism. Opinions are one thing. But the rabid diatribe you have exhibited is deplorable. And you lost. Have a nice next four years. Well, Donald Trump uh, doesn't want to, he wants to be a different type of president. He doesn't want to live in the White House. He wants to go back and forth to... Uh, well, he wants to live in the White House when you've got a golden toilet. He's got a gold-plated toilet seat uh, right. in Manhattan. He wants his kid to finish uh, private school, uh, Baron, uh, and, and his wife, Melanie, to, uh, is, is the mother. So, you know, <coughs> I hear uh, it's going to cost New York City a million dollars a day for their security. So taxpayers have to pay extra money because the Trumps are too important and special to live in a White House. I, I don't. I, I don't think he's taking the responsibility of this presidency seriously enough. With my apologies to Winston Churchill, <clears throat> Donald Trump has shown to be consummate, consummate, twenty-first contrary political enigma, who has successfully played his audience the American people, with audacity and the skill of Houdini. <clears throat> As wonderkind of casinos and television, Trump pinned his political tale to the kites of the post-war II generation. A generation of Americans who have been thoroughly disgusted and frustrated by the congressional powers on both sides of the aisle. Most Americans see Congress as a body that sacrifices compromise and the common good for political ideology and self-interest. Trump manipulated that frustration to ultimate victory. He demonstratively altered the face of presidential campaigning by appealing to the groundswell of discontent <coughs> among Republicans and later with the majority of the American people. It remains to be seen how history will judge his time as the 45th President of the United States of America. Good goobledy goo. Devastating? A sore loser? You bet! P.T. Barnum once talked about never underestimating the poor taste of the American public. He ran a circus. And isn't that ironic? That's just what this political sparring implies. Well, the whole political year was a circus. He should see us now. All the divisiveness, bullying, personal asper aspersions, Lies have paid off for a spoiled narcissist and his lowly cronies. You know, and, and also all of the uh, carnival snake oil uh, 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 pitchmen in this campaign here. I feel so sorry for our duped American citizens okay. and for the rest of the world. Feel sorry for them? I don't feel sorry for them. 
They had choices. <clears throat> they had options. This election is simply another example of the dumbing down of America. Oh, they're d they were dumbed down before the year started. That's why they made the choices they made. The uh, uh, even even the uh, all the progressives that flock to the Bernie Sanders uh, rallies uh, are have been dumbed down and they became uh, apathetic. Uh, they gave up. You know, Ooh. instead of ho holding Bernie's feet to the fire and holding Ooh. everyone's feet to the fire, you you didn't see them uh, um, protest. In in, uh, in massive uh, numbers, you didn't see them protest when the DNC uh, had the elections, uh, the primaries rigged. Oh no, no, it, 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 they protest for Hillary. They came out. I was not a Donald Trump fan from the beginning. When I listened to him saying, "We're going to win so much." We're going to get tired of winning. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, true. The bravado completely turned me off. The constant bragging arrogance was tiring. When Trump said he will get things done faster, cheaper than anything we've ever seen in Washington, I was certain that it showed his ignorance of our system. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, this country is going to become so great so quick oh you're gonna say please mr trump hold back hold back too much prosperity we can't handle it too much happiness we can't handle it when i woke up and was shocked to find out that the uh, trump will be our next president i started reflecting on the stuff he said i thought it was complete nonsense however trump did in a little more than a year, what Hillary Clinton was trying to do for 30 years. Maybe he's not so dumb. We'll see in four years. The leading enabler of this disastrous election outcome was the media, especially cable television news. True. In the name of audience and profits, free airtime was afforded to an unqualified, unstable, no-nothing candidate. He got shameful. He got all the free publicity he could possibly hope for in the United States media. More so, much more so than Hillary Clinton. Much more so, much more so. He got all the free publicity and airtime, and 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 um, uh, people that really, really cared and and and, and fight for the little guy, and mainstream Bernie Sanders and uh, and um, and uh, Jill Stein didn't get diddly dick compared to Donald Trump. Mm. I hope the president elect does do something about health care. But the high cost of some premiums is not his fault. It is due to the greed of the providers and the insurance companies. What we need is a single-payer system like Medicare for all. Insurance companies should not be involved at all. We need political leaders that are not afraid to say no to the CEOs and the fat cats. Just like parents should stop, should learn to say no to their children. Look up the annual compensation for the CEOs of major insurance companies. And the big charities. They make hundreds of millions of dollars per year. And we are paying for that. Why? The federal government already has Medicare which works very well, does a great job of holding down costs. If we received revenue from um, uh, from mm -hmm. rich people paying their fair share in taxes, we would not be in this predicament. Or the 57% 
of the budget which goes to the military. Yeah, you, you get the, you get rid of the waste, get take the waste out of the military, yeah. like uh, planes that are were fiascos and will never be used, things like that, that cost billions or trillions, you know, waste of money there. Get rid of that. Take our Pinocchio nose out of the business of other countries by closing many of the military bases, mm. U.S. military bases. Stop, you know, learn that uh, we have no right to occupy other countries. They don't like us. They want us out. Well, get them out and save them money there. Uh, single payer, uh, yeah, true. But most of all, um, all the funding that's needed to make America great again should come from uh, taxing the rich, not the middle class. The middle class also, don't forget, Main Street, the middle class also represent all small businesses and entrepreneurs. They should receive all the tax breaks, not the uh, top 1% or top 20%. Okay, Main Street should get all the tax breaks, breaks not Wall Street. And that's how you do it. It's not rocket science. It's it's quite easy, you know. But but you know the media won't tell the American people the real hard hitting truth because they're controlled by the uh, corporations we're talking about. And that's it. And that's a shame. So uh, all right, we're ready to bang up. That's it. You know, one more here. Oh, okay, one more for the road. Hillary Clinton is blaming the FBI's decision to revive its examination of her email accounts for her defeat. They never really went after her before? Or why is she upset? Because they gave her a clean bill of health in July and then like 10 or 15 days before the election ends they're opening a new examination which has no evidence and led nowhere. How do you know there's no evidence? That's why. There is none. You, you, you could bet your, your bottom dollar that anything coming from WikiLeaks is heavy duty. But they didn't have any. Well, maybe they're hiding it. Well, why didn't they put it out? Why, why would Julian Assange uh, send out nonsense? There was no nonsense. There was no what they said that there was. That's all. There was no nonsense. It was uh, uh, most of the emails were things they already had in July. He already looked them so over in July. Crap, what is this crap uh, uh, that WikiLeaks keeps on saying? Oh, we're, uh, uh, um, we're saving the the, the biggest uh, sc uh, sc uh, scandal uh, for last. Where are they? Where is it? Where are they? The, the, we're saving the best for last. Okay. Where is it? Assange well, wants publicity like everybody else. If, listen, if, if, if Julian Assange really had um, all this data that would uh, sink the uh, Clinton campaign ship, the iceberg that will sink the Titanic. Well, it did sink it. If he really had... If but there he, was nothing. If he really had it... Yeah. He would have pro he would have came out with it uh, mm. maybe during the Democratic primaries. Whatever. A long time ago. But there was nothing. But it was well, just talk. Why? Yeah. Why gradually release things? Allow the DNC to screw over Bernie Sanders. Allow let, allow the damage to be done. Yeah. And then end up helping Trump get elected. There you go. So. And that's what Comey's letters did. Julian Assange and, and Anonymous collectively did not help the progressive movement, the grassroots revolution. They did not help them at all. They helped Donald Trump get elected. <laughs> On a call Saturday with top campaign donors, Clinton said her campaign was winning until FBI Director James Comey sent a letter to Congress on October 28th, announcing that the FBI had uncovered emails possibly related to its earlier probe into her use of a private server as Secretary of State. 
The new examination was sparked by an unrelated investigation into former New York Representative Anthony Weiner, the estranged husband of one of her top aides. Yeah, Abaddon. The surprise announcement by the FBI came after three-day debates in which Republican Donald Trump was widely panned for his performance. And, you sh and, and you, uh, of course, Donald Trump jumped on all this new information. Yes, without any evidence. Lock her up! Lock her up! Lock her up! Republican Donald Trump was panned for his performance. Clinton told the donors that her campaign was leading by large margins in every battleground state until Comey released his letter. Yeah. Trump's campaign and Republican supporters seized on the news, even though it was unclear whether Clinton's correspondence was tied up in the probe. Comey said the Sunday before the election that the Bureau had found no evidence to warrant criminal charges. I wouldn't say that. His all-clear message only served to further motivate Trump supporters. So many, uh, so many, uh, so many uh, Democrats, whether they be liberal or not, are so spellbound by Hillary Clinton. I have no idea, and by the party too. I have no idea why they haven't flocked to independent, uh. independent political party, and and left the two-party system, you know, lock, stock, and barrel. I have no idea. They're just as, they, you know, they're, they're just as bad as the, the, the teabaggers, but different, in a different way. You know, but hey, it doesn't take much to get those them dollar teabaggers riled up at the Trump rally, right? Uh, All you gotta do is get emotional. Lock her up, lock her up. <laughs> you know, so, anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining us for Progressive Discussions. Uh, the next holiday is, in my opinion, Christmas, uh, Yule, uh, Krampus Day, which is uh, December 5th, and, and mm -hmm. Festivus for the rest of us. Happy Festivus. That will be uh, December 25th. I do not, I do not celebrate pagan Christmas ah. since Jesus was not born in December. All right, and all this is to make money for the American retail industry. All this crapola. And what happens the day after? All the goodwill towards men and Everybody the sp hates each spirit other. of giving. Everybody goes back yeah. to hating each other's guts and uh, and uh, uh, ignoring one another. Right. And you know, and stepping over the homeless like they're invisible. Oh yeah. Yeah, they all go back to their. Um, Usual behavior. Those moochers. Business uh, as usual. Yeah, those, those moochers. Hey, did you ever see that cartoon where it showed the um, the uh, the tea baggers yelling at this uh, a black woman who was pregnant and saying, "We're going to do everything we can to protect that 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 uh, baby in, inside of you." And then when the the, the other part, the baby's already born, yeah. and they're calling him a moocher and a freeloader and lazy and all. There you go. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's it, Charlie. That's it. All right. We'll see you.